MachineTutorials.com. Yo, what's up? This is St. Joe, MachineTutorials.com, here with an update on the workaround for recording MIDI directly into your DAW. This one's for Ableton Live. Of course, this works in Studio One as well as Cubase. Now, you may remember my previous video where I set this up and we had to go in and make a MIDI host group and, you know, transpose all the pads and different stuff. I wanted to put up a streamline one just because, you know, we got the MIDI batch set up back, so that makes it a lot easier to set this thing up. Then also, I got a bunch of questions on, you know, using the multiple MIDI host groups. I specifically specifically did that in the video just to make sure you understood how the routing was going but you don't need it you can just use one MIDI group so I just want to show you a streamlined way of setting it up so let's say I got two kits inside a machine I'm gonna make this first one my MIDI group and we'll just put it up there say MIDI host now it's a lot easier to set it up now I can just right click and do a sounds to MIDI notes and then I want to go down and you can see right here it actually transposes all the notes properly so I'm gonna just select all of these and put it on host so now it's set to send MIDI into the host and another thing you want to do so you don't get any crazy feedback is go over here to the group input and you want to activate MIDI we'll just put it on channel 1 we're not going to receive anything on channel 1 we're just sending out on channel 1 so it won't get any feedback so now for these you just want to give these a, a MIDI channel we'll just start at 2 and go up so this one will be 2 so we'll activate down 2 and you want to make sure to change right here to C3 and then for this one we're going to do 3 so we'll put that on channel 3 and again make sure it's on C3 and you're pretty much ready to go inside a machine now in Ableton on the external kits let's say for this one let's say machine machine and then this one is going to be channel 2 that's MIDI channel 2 and the next one is going to be on MIDI channel 3 and over here you want to make sure it says machine and machine so now if I actually go in and just to show you here's the the regular version or the machine version of the kit got your regular velocity sensitivity now if I go over here so it's going to be based on whichever one you have active if I go over here and activate this one it's going to be my other group And you could pretty much go in and record whatever you want. So let's just do something really quick just to show you it works. So you're pretty much ready to go and of course you can still go in and route your audio so let's say if we wanted to route this one to channel 2 we could just go over here to your output for your audio and we can route that to external 2 and this one we can do to external 3 and then you would just go back into here put this one on 3 put this one on 2 and you're pretty much good to go Again, you can just build that up as many as you want. Just make sure you got that MIDI host group. Of course, you can save this, but like I said, with that MIDI batch set up, it's a lot faster to go in and set it up. So if you don't feel like saving it, you just want to make it whenever you need it, you can. But it's all dependent on whichever one you have active. So it's always going to send out on this channel. I say put it first and just set it to channel 1. So it's always going to send out on channel 1 and then you start from there. So 2, 3. If you had another kit, it would be 4 and you keep going like that. So and you can have all your MIDI directly in Ableton 
in machine mode so you get the proper response and you can still go in quickly and adjust you know all your kits and all that different stuff so again this works for cubase studio one as well like we showed so if you got any questions about it let me know hopefully this one's a little bit more streamlined for you again having that midi batch set up really streamlines things a lot so if you got any questions let me know this is st joe machine tutorials.com peace